Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brilliant Estate Planning video advent calendar. Today we're going to be speaking a little bit more about wills um, and specifically about the idea that someone with dementia can't make a will. Now as you know, um, or you may not know, Brilliant Estate Planning has recently become a Dementia Friend. And Dementia Friends is an organization that's part of the um, Alzheimer's Association. So um, this is definitely a subject that's uh, near and dear to our hearts. And I know it can be quite sensitive for many people. So once you're diagnosed with dementia, everything gets a little bit more complicated. You can still make a will, but it becomes a question of capacity. So when you make a will, if you already have a dementia diagnosis, you may need like a letter from your um, primary care doctor, your GP that says that you have capacity. Um, there may be some other sort of hoops that you need to jump through. Now, if you have a dementia diagnosis and you already have a lasting power of attorney, then your um, financial and property power of attorney, whoever you've nominated as that person, um, can help you with that and sign documents and things like that on your behalf. Um, but if you don't have somebody like in, that in place and you don't have a will and you get a dementia diagnosis, that doesn't mean that you can't write a will, but it certainly adds another layer of complication again, because it's just a question of capacity and you have to make sure that you have capacity and that you can prove that um, because you need to be sure of that when you're writing your will and then also after the fact, um, after you pass away, um, if somebody tries to contest the will and says that you wrote it after you were diagnosed with dementia and you didn't have capacity, then that can invalidate it. Um, so you just really have to be careful. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please do get in touch with us here. We're quite happy to help you. We do understand that this is a very sensitive subject. Um, and again, it's, it's close to our hearts and we want to do everything we can to help you. Uh, so please feel free to reach out if you find yourself in a position like this or a family member or have any questions about it at all. Um, all of our contact information is below. You can reach us via email, comments, uh, messages, phone, whatever is easiest for you. We look forward to speaking to you. If you have anything that you'd like us to cover in these videos, please do get in touch with us and let us know. We also have an entire playlist of all the videos that we've been posting um, and all the videos that we're going to post will be on there too. So make sure you follow us and check out that playlist. It will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for your time watching this video today and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.